this season between the Canucks and the Flames. Vancouver won the first two, both in Calgary. Starting goaltenders, Kari Ramo, the 27-year-old Finn, making his third start in the last four games for Calgary. And as Scott mentioned earlier, Roberto Luongo returning to the lineup. He's missed the last six games with that lower body injury and ankle injury after being run over by Dustin Brown in L.A. on January 4th. Referees Dave Jackson and Kyle Raymond, the linesman Lonnie Cameron and John Grant may have their hands full early in this game, Kelly, because both teams are starting their fourth lines tonight, including Tom Sestito for the Canucks and Brian McGratton for the Flames. They've fought three times over the last two years. Rick, that's just for energy. That's why they're starting. <laughs> this could be an interesting start. As we get set to go to Rogers Arena, a couple teams struggling with goal scoring. Canucks lately, three-game road trip that saw them go LA, Anaheim, Phoenix, lost all three in regulation and scored just one goal. Kellen Lane, the product of Lake Superior State, making his NHL debut, is going to face off. And it's Westgarth at center ice. So some interesting matchups here. We have Sestito and McGratton lined up against each other. Kevin Bieksa had come up and had a word with Westgarth a moment ago, and now, now Bieksa is going to face off against Westgarth, so the defenseman moves up for the Canucks. Tortorella at the Vancouver bench is already looking at the and here we go. bench. Line brawl to start this game. Westgarth and Bieksa are separated. Sestito and McGratton back at the blue line. Torts is angry. Is he and ever? He's looking directly at the Calgary Flames bench. So we got two fights going on. Kevin VX is now with Schmid on the near boards, and it's Westgarth and Lane near the Vancouver blue line. Will Sestito and McGratton go out and near the Calgary blue line? Welcome to the NHL, Kellen Lane. Handling himself really well, too, considering his opponent. Lane is six foot six. McGratton just got the best of Sestito. Meantime, back in the Vancouver end, in front of Roberto Luongo, Weiss and Jones are separated, and looks like cooler heads are about to prevail, but Kelly, we saw this coming. We yeah. got the starting lineups tonight. No question about it. When you get these kind of guys and you know the, the rivalry between the two teams, this clearly makes uh, a lot of sense from what we, we saw with the starting lineups. So you see Tortorella still going at well, it. And, the visiting team submits their lineup yeah. and they're starting five before the home team does. So Bob Hartley would have given his lineup in and Tortorella obviously saw who he was starting, fourth line, and matched with his fourth line. And here's what that led to right off the opening faceoff. We haven't seen a brawl like this in a long time <laughs> we at the National Hockey League level. So Westgarth and Bieksa were separated. Then Kellen Lane got involved yeah. with Westgarth and did pretty well in his first NHL fight. Six foot six playing, and he's got to make his presence felt. He didn't hesitate to drop him, did he? So Tortorella still yelling at Bob Hartley, who's not even coming over to engage in the conversation. Kessler and Hoodler. And now Hartley comes over as some of the flames have gone to towards the Photographers moat between the benches. The Canucks are over there. Burroughs in his first game back with the Shane protector around his broken jaw. That's normally at the other end of the bench made his way down by the forwards on the Flames. And as Tortorella continues to berate Bob Hartley, he is furious. So all the players except for the initial combatants, which were Sestito and McGratton, have been kicked out of the game. Yeah. So... The other four skaters for both teams, all in secondary fights, all gone. Calgary takes the extra two. That went to Westgarth, and the Canucks will go on the power play. Two seconds into the hockey game. All right, let's play <laughs> some hockey. So a Canucks power play that has struggled this season, 24th in the league. We'll try and get something going here. Is off the draw. The puck goes all the way down the ice. And Daniel Sedin, who will man one of the points with Edler, goes back to it. Now Edler brings it out of his own zone. Drop pass center ice to Henrik. Henrik tries to fire it across. 
lost the puck, and it's played to center ice by Stajan, where Edler's able to pick it up over to Burroughs. He'll fire it in wide. Daniel after it. Fires it around to Burroughs on the right wing boards. Battling in the corner with Giordano. Brody comes over to help out. Canucks get it to the other side. Here's Daniel. Back around to Henrik on the half boards. To the point to Edler. Edler. Patience. Now to Henrik. Burroughs up front. Kessler one time will put it high. Puck stays in play. Henrik. Behind the net to Daniel. Daniel back to Henrik. Edler at the line. Slap shot. The flex off traffic line of the goal. Canucks get it back. Burroughs over to Henrik. Stajan watching him. Henrik takes his time. Burroughs out front. Henrik. Daniel. Edler. One timer broke his stick. Puck comes to Kessler on the backhand. Here's Henrik. Has to settle it down. Out front. Daniel with a shot. That's blocked by Boma. Bouncing rebound. Henrik. Edler's got a new stick. Now it's, sorry, Hamus off the bench joining the power play. Out front. Daniel tipped on goal. Rommel's it. Kessler's second shot. Bounces off Brody wide of the goal. Good pressure by this Canucks power play. Boma gets a loose puck, finally able to fire it down the ice. 25 seconds left in the Calgary penalty. They looked pretty hungry, didn't they? They had some good chances, good movement. So that's a start. Second unit out there. Late stage is the power play as Hamus fires the puck in. Cassian to it. Now Higgins down low. Took a bump on the end boards. Puck comes free to Backlund, and he'll clear. And that'll do it. Colborn on his feet, steps out of the box. No official shots, although some good chances on that power play for Vancouver. Loose puck, Canucks line. Stampniak keeps it alive. Bit of room, throws it out front to Colborn on the backhand. Never got a shot away, and O'Brien can't keep the puck on side. Clear past him. And back to Calgary territories. Both teams start a change. Dennis Weidman behind his own net, waiting for the breakout to set up. Bank pass off the boards. Colborn tips it in. Tanev back to it. Monahan, the outstanding rookie for the Flames, in on the forecheck. Canucks get it up the far side, and Kessler will clear. A little too far for Edler. He'll jump up on the play and then peel off as Brody gets to it. David Booth back in the lineup for his third straight game, and he's been very good the last two games for yes. Vancouver. Yep. Skating well, taking pucks to the net. Physical, couple of checks on this ship. Puts Tanev in his own zone over to Edler. Up to Booth. He'll chip it in. Richardson, Kessler on the forecheck. Kessler bumps Weidman on the end boards. Richardson out front to Booth for the shot. Put it wide. Puck in towards his feet. He couldn't get a good shot away. Richardson down low on the backhand to the point to Hanus. Works it across with a shot. Never got it through. Brody got a stick in the way. He goes to the corner with Kessler. Richardson battling now with Stajan. Puck along the boards. Richardson wins the fight. Booth in the circle over to Dan Hanius. Waits for a screen. Doesn't shoot. Throws it wide of the goal around to Richardson on the right side. Stajan watching him. Richardson coughs it up to Brody. He'll clear it out. Trying to spring Stajan. A little too far, but Stajan ahead of the play will take off the icing call. Weber battling with Stajan behind the Vancouver net. Now Hoodler comes in to help out. Threw it back to the line. That bounces off Burroughs in the corner. Here's a chance for Stepniak with a shot, and Luongo makes his first save. Jordano over to loose puck. Over to O'Brien for a one-timer. Hit the post. Louis May got a piece of that. I think he got it with his shoulder. Yep, good eye, Kelly. Back to the line. Here's Jordano. Over to O'Brien. Another one-timer. Put it just wide. Puck comes to Daniel Sedin. He'll have room to bring it out. Right wing center. Burroughs joins him on the rush. They crisscross over the line. Daniel swings wide left out front to Burroughs. Tipped on goal. Robinow makes the save. Penalty coming up to Calgary. Tanev over to Edler. Delayed call. Luongo hasn't noticed yet. Now he does. Heads to the bench. Edler. Long shot from the line, bounces off Rommel wide. Burroughs behind the net, lost the puck to Giordano, and more pushing and shoving. Giordano throwing punches at Burroughs. Again, he's wearing the full shield. Another fight breaks out. That's Cassian going after Bulma, who throws a right over the shoulder of the linesman. Two or three rights. He got him pretty good right there. So any notion that what happened off the start of the game, Kelly, would cool things down for the rest of the night, I think will put to rest with that ship. <laughs> Why, it's only been four and a half minutes <laughs> since we had a brawl. <laughs> the Canucks took a penalty after the penalty call on Giordano for the hook on Burroughs, and we're back to five on five, so no power play here. Four and a half minutes gone, a wild start in Vancouver, no score. Weber to a loose puck in his own zone. Bumped by Byron, we, or, uh, Edler knocked down by Colborn in the corner. Gets back to his feet. 
Gets the puck, puts it behind the net. Backlund races to it first, throws it out front. That's blocked. Byron onto it in the corner. Weber's dropped his stick, but it's corralled by Edler. He'll put it off the boards. Weidman able to keep it on side with a long shot. That deflects high. Stays in play. Bounces out front. Tipped away. Backlund keeps it alive, though. Works it back to the point to Brody. Across for Weidman. Deflects high. Knocks it down with a shot up high over top of the goal. Rims around the glass. Stays in. Good play by Brody to keep it alive. Down low to Backlund. Had a three-game goal streak come to an end last game, but he's been very good in the last few weeks for the Flames. Now Hoodler, their top scorer. Backlund, high slot with a shot. Put it just wide. Luongo didn't see that at all. Good screen in front. That was close as Higgins brings it back the other way for Vancouver and dumps it in. Canucks change. Brody to it. Hanson on the forecheck. T.J. Brody. Hassel. Turns back. Daniels in deep. Forces Brody to play it across behind the net to Weidman. He'll feed it up and get the return pass himself and stage it. Stampniak carries in now. Flips it across. High pass knocked down by Tana, but kept on side by stage into Hoodler down low. Stampniak out front. There's the pass. Hamu's got a stick in the way. And the Canucks turn up ice as Daniel takes a pass from Henry. Daniel Sedin crisscrossing with Burroughs over the line. Here's Hamus down low. Burroughs out front. Shot. Ramos steers that aside. Rebound played back to the right point. Tanev over to Daniel. Back at the left point. Slap shot by Daniel goes wide of the goal. Tanev will keep the play alive. Henrik now. Daniel hopped off a stick. Hustles back to it to keep it in. Now out front to Henrik. Shot. Stop. Rebound. Knocked away by Byron who clears it out the center ice. Not for lack of chances, still scoreless in Vancouver as the Canucks ice the puck with six and a half minutes gone in the first period. Off the draw, Flames clear. Shot 6-4 in favor of Vancouver. Booth over the line. Chips it past Jordana who hustles back for Calgary. Brody now in the corner. Popped it up at the line to Booth, but he couldn't control that. And here comes Backlund through center. In on the right side with a shot off the boards. Blocked by Edler. Colburn on the forecheck is tied up. Puck goes to the... Other side, and there's Hanson to clear the zone to Brad Richardson at center ice. Works it in by himself, waiting for Booth to join him. Off the bench is Cassian. Puck played behind the net. E.J. Brody's back there. Ahead for Hoodler. Hanyus pinches. Flames clear and a two-on-one chance. Brody has Backlund with him. Here's Brody right in. Stopped by Luongo. Stops the rebound, too. Two chances for T.J. Brody, the defenseman jumping off of the play, and Luongo with a couple more saves. Booth to center ice will shovel the puck in, head off to finish off a Vancouver change. Weidman. Off the stick of Stepniak at center. He's hit by Burroughs, but gets it ahead to Byron, who dumps the puck in. He hits Edler in the corner. Cassian back to help out. Yannick Weber behind the net. Puts it off the glass and out. Maybe icing. And will be. Eight and a half to go in a scoreless first period. One of the first mistakes of this game, Dan Hamuse decides to pinch, and he's been such a good, dependable player. Then to lose the puck battle right there. Colburn just fires it up in a two-on-one right here. And Luongo reading that beautifully. Brody, just such a beautiful skater. Tempers boiling over again. This is a stoppage and play dust up here. It started with Alex Burroughs and Yuri Hoodler. And now Kessler throwing punches at Hoodler as the linesmen break them up. Cassie and Shane O'Brien are having words at the blue line. That would have been some fight, wouldn't it? Those two, Cassian and O'Brien. They're the same weight class. Two old school guys. And this is how it all got going right here. All right, former teammates, Burroughs goes after uh, O'Brien. O'Brien's telling Cassian how the game should be played, I, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Cassian's saying, you know, any good tips you have, I'm more than happy to listen. <laughs> and then Burroughs and Yuri Hoodler were going at each other. That's an interesting matchup. Hoodler's not exactly a fighter, and Burroughs has got the He's got a temper, on. though. Hoodler's got a real temper. He, he can get pretty wired. Cassian being sent to the room. All this happening with 8.33 to go in the first period. So we haven't had a goal, but we've had just about everything else. The Canucks go to work in the offensive zone. Here's Yannick Hansen. On the backhand, looking to work it out front. Hansen turning. He'll put it behind the net to Richardson. Hamus pinching. Took a hard hit from Stampniak, and that hurt. 
Hamu slow to get up, dropped his stick, puck comes back towards him, thrown out front by the Flames and almost given away to Hansen, but they get away with it. Here's Stepniak on the break. Stepniak right in, stopped by Luongo, and he hangs on for a faceoff. I've said many times, watch out when Lee Stepniak's on the ice. He can sneak up on you, he can lay you out, boy. He hits hard, he's not a big guy. See, Dan Hamus is really struggling. And here comes Stepniak, and when he gets ready to set and hit you, it's just like a truck, and that, that led to this scoring chance right here where Stepniak, after the hit, just keep his feet moving. Gets a pretty good chance right there. And Higgins works it across to Hansen, and he'll bring it out. Canucks to center, Hansen dumps it in. Kessler onto it. Now to Hansen, but Giordano broke up that play. Tanev keeps it in, and Giordano able to steal the puck. And gets it past Tanev out the center ice. Well, this is how this game's going to attack some of these players. Dennis Weidman, because of the ejection of Schmidt and Butler, he's almost at 10 minutes already, and there's only four minutes left. Higgins throwing it out front. Hansen in traffic can't corral it. Colburn takes it away, and big winger now is playing his fourth game on the wing since they made the move from center ice, works it out and dumps the puck in. Yeah, interesting change. Talked about that with Bob Hartley a number of times during the course of the season, if you'd like to do that. He was a winger, keep in mind, at University of Denver. Here comes Daniel Sedin out front to Booth, taking a shift with the Twins now. Weber over to the puck. With the puck behind the net to Daniel, now to Henrik. Back to Daniel. Out front to Henrik with a shot. Rommel makes his best save of the game so far. Galliardi corrals the rebound and brings it out. Henrik knocked down in front of the net, slow to get up. Laboring as he tries to clear the zone with Daniel, working it back to Edler. He's not skating well right now. Edler on the line with a shot, hit the post. A wrister from the high slot, clanked off the iron. Blocker side on Ramo, who made a spectacular save a moment ago and then got help from the goalie's best friend. Three minutes to go in a wild first period in Vancouver as Edler dumps the puck in. Sestito on the ice. Him and McGratton have served their penalties as the puck goes off Sestito and then off of TJ Brody and out of play. Here's a chance for Tanev with a shot off the right rebound and it hopped off the stick of Richardson before he could make the save on that, or the shot rather, on that first save by Ramo. The Canucks supply some pressure here looking to open the scoring late in the first period. They dump it back in. Kari Ramo fires it around. Backlund will chip it out. Byron races to the puck, gets it to Colburn. Steps over the line, cuts out front, then the other way with a weak shot off the paddle of Luongo. That may have been going wide anyway. Dan Hamus controls behind his net and leaves it for Brad Richardson. Now Yannick Hansen out the center ice. Dumps the puck in on goal. Rommel with an awkward stop there. He's Well, that was an awkward bounce. Yes. Change direction as it hopped yeah. right in front of the crease. Now the Flames ice the puck with 2.18 to go in the period. Face-off win for Kessler. Here's Edler at the line with a shot. That goes out front, chopped wide by Burroughs. Had an open net, but a bouncing puck, and he couldn't get the shot on goal. And back come the Flames. Bulma working on Edler. Can't make a move around Edler. Got by him, but Edler cut off the puck. Bulma gets it back. Tied up by Kessler. Edler there as well. Yannick Weber winds up with it. And he'll lift it high and out the center ice. Bounces to Weidman, who has played a ton, as Kelly mentioned, in this first period. And that's probably going to continue. Yep. With the depleted benches now with all the game misconducts as Weidman dumps the puck in. Tanev behind the net. Staging gets the puck for Calgary. His pass picked off by Henrik, who's back on the ice. And he finds Daniel. Burrows out with the Twins now. Daniel down the wing. Stops on the half boards. Works it back to the line to Tanev. Tanev across to Hamus. Hamus tries a shot. That deflects. He gets it back. Dan Hamus making moves just inside the line. Flips it down the board. Stepniak knocked it down, but Henrik pokes it towards the corner. Now Daniel behind the net. Burroughs goes out front. Henrik with a pass to Burroughs. Can't shoot the puck. He was tied up by Brody. And here comes Stepniak to center ice. Staging over the line. Now the wing up front to Stepniak. Poked it on goal. Kicked away by Luongo out of the reach of Brody. Final minute of play in the first. TJ Brody to the puck on the near boards. Backhands it to the corner where it's picked up by Staging. Matt Staging skates it back to the line. Back to the corner now for Galliardi. Works it to the line, feeds it along the board, Stepniak. Hard pass, Galliardi cut it off. I think that was intended for Giordano. And the Canucks are able to clear as Burroughs end of a shift, puts the puck into the zone and turns towards the bench. And heads off 
30 seconds left. Check the calendar. Is this 1977 or 2014 with the way this game has gone, Kelly? It's been a rough one from the opening faceoff. Sestito, nice tip pass to Richardson over the line with a shot to flex off the stick of Weidman. Um, Sestito with a nifty play to set up that rush. Weber out front, boot shot it wide with an open net. Wrap around a tip. Ramo got the leg across to make the...